my name is Sandra and welcome to the Super Sunday School. And before we go so far, let's have a word of prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this class that you have given us today, O oh God. May you, may you give us understanding, Almighty oh Father. In Jesus' name we pray, testing and believing. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, like and share. Right about now, we're going to the memory verse section. Yay! Hello, my name is Rodney. Here's the memory verse for this week. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Amen. Hello, my name is Ryan. Here's the memory verse for this week. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. It says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Amen. Hi. Hi. My name is Teacher Brian. I'm Teacher Josh. Yes, and we are back with another uh, class. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for watching from wherever you are. And again, thanks, big thanks to Sandra for doing an awesome introduction for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I hope you are happy and you're getting to learn something from our Super Sunday School classes. So keep joining us, keep tuning in, ensure you like, you subscribe, and you share so that we can, uh, you can get to learn more even as we progress and as we continue, okay? Yeah, so today uh, we are doing the book of James. Yeah, last week we, we did the book of James chapter... Do you remember the chapter? Yes, chapter 4. And so today we are doing chapter 3 uh, from verse 1 all the way to verse 12. Okay? Yes, so I'm going to read half and Josh is going to read half of it. And then we'll see what we learn from it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not many of you should pres presume to be teachers, my brothers, because you know that we who, we who teach will be judged most strictly, most strictly. We all stumble in many ways. If anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is a perfect man, able to keep his whole body in check. When we put beads into the mouth, mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take sheep as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider that a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell. Verse 7 Human beings can tame and have tamed all other creatures, wild animals and birds, reptiles and fish, but no one has ever been able to tame their tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full of deadly poison. We use it to, to give thanks to God uh, our Father, and also to curse other people who are created in the likeness of God. Words of thanksgiving and cursing pour out from the same mouth. My brothers and sisters, this should not happen. No spring of water pours out sweet water and bitter, and bitter water from the same opening. A fig tree, my brothers and sisters, cannot bear olives. A grapevine cannot bear figs, nor can a salty spring produce sweet water. Wow, this is, is about our tanks, taming our tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, it is important for us to, to tame our tanks as the Bible speaks about, you know, how powerful our yeah. tongue is. And uh, I get to learn uh, so many, we get to learn so many lessons. I know you have also captured something from it. Well, um, something I get to say is that the Bible says, um, 
in verse 2 we all stumble in many in many ways if anyone is never at fault in what he says he is a perfect man and able to keep his whole body in check so it means that if we are able to if we are able to you know to be careful on what we say that is able to i mean that, that makes us perfect people yeah with how you speak it is important for us to be careful to consider what we say otherwise what we say can help uh, what you say or what you speak uh, is able to to show what the kind of person you are mm-hmm. even before the presence of god yeah. even before people people can rate you by how you speak mm-hmm. so be careful on how you, you on how on and what you say what you speak even before people even before god yeah. it is so important mm-hmm. if you want to be a perfect man check your words mm-hmm. check what am i saying is this of god mm-hmm. Is this of the world? Is this uh, right? Is this wrong? Mm-hmm. So it is important for us to live perfectly by knowing what mm-hmm. we are saying uh, and by co- by taming our tongues, mm-hmm. saying I'm not going to say this. You are you feel like you want to because somebody has has done something wrong to you. Mm-hmm. You feel like calling them a bad name mm-hmm. or in, maybe you are you're almost uh, even things like curse words yeah you are, you've had people use curse words mm-hmm. you those are not the right things for us to say with our tongues so we need to tame our tongues for us to to be able to keep our whole bodies in check mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. yes very important yeah mm-hmm. uh, let's start from verse one mm. my brothers and sisters not as many of you should become teachers, as you know, we teachers will be judged uh, greater and stricter than others. I think God is trying to say that he will judge you according to the information that you have. Mm. Verse 4, mm-hmm. or think of a, such a big ship, mm-hmm. uh, it's being driven, driven by, a, uh, by very strong winds. Mm-hmm. It can be steered by a very very small rudder, mm. so it means that our tanks mm-hmm. it's like um a very small it is very very tiny, mm-hmm. but it can cause a very 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 big uh, something that is not good. Mm. Yeah, that that's true, Teacher Josh. And by the way, on in verse one, I have seen a, a verse that says, uh, "Not many of you should presume to be teachers, my brothers, because you know that we we who teach will be judged more strictly." Uh, I believe that everyone, mm-hmm. in one way or the other, is a teacher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with how you speak, mm-hmm. you, I know that you, you know, you have spoken to people and shown them how some things should be done, mm-hmm. and you know, that giving instruction or guiding someone mm-hmm. is teaching, mm-hmm. and those are words you utter using your tongue to mm-hmm. lead someone. So if you lead someone astray by your words, mm-hmm. then that is going to be uh, judged to, to you harshly. Mm-hmm. God will ask you, oh, you knew the truth, but you you gave somebody the wrong information. By the way, our tongues give information. They are powerful. Mm-hmm. So if you tell somebody, uh, go do this and this, go and take the teacher's phone. Go and take the teacher's phone. Or go and, uh, go and take uh, someone's pencil. Mm-hmm. That is a misinformation. That that is not the right information. That is not the right thing for you to do. But God is going to judge that harshly, you yeah. know, because mm-hmm. you have informed somebody, mm-hmm. and uh, that is the wrong way. That is the wrong guidance you're giving to someone, and it will be very wrong. God will judge that. Mm-hmm. So it is important for us to know that God uh, will judge more strictly mm-hmm. those people who who teach. Yeah, so teach people the right things, like the Bible, you know, so that when you appear before God as a teacher, God tells you, wow, you told my people my word, that was so good of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I believe even in that, maybe there is a, there is, you know, as, as I think even if they will be judged more strictly, then I think also their their reward will be also great for those who did a good job, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, so... Yes. Uh, from verse uh, verse five. Mm. So it is with the tongue, small as it is, it can boast about very great, great things. Mm. So a small tongue. Mm. What are the, what are the kinds of sin that a tongue can bring? Pride. 
right mm, gossiping okay. uh-huh yes mm. what other using using of curse words mm-hmm. insulting people yeah you know lying mm-hmm. mm? so the bible says it is very very small but it can bring very very great things yeah that uh, they may be terrible or mm-hmm. very very good mm. so you you must be very very watchful with what you say mm. yeah yeah it actually this is actually compared to uh something that can cause mm-hmm. uh like a forest mm-hmm. on fire yeah is it is like a small spark how how big is your tongue if, if you take it out let, let me see your tongue Ah, it is very small. But this is that one. You see that one? <laughs> ah, no, it's a small, small one. <laughs> yeah. It is a very small uh, part of the body. But imagine, if somebody insults you, how do you feel? Very Especially big. if they were very close friends, uh, friends of you. How would you feel? So bad. It is. It remains in the heart, right? Yeah. They'd rather beat you, and you know you'll heal. Mm-hmm. But if it gets into your heart, like when it comes out as an insult. It yeah. hurts even more, mm-hmm. and that is a tongue. Mm-hmm. It is a small thing, mm-hmm. but it can cause you know like the, your whole body on mm-hmm. fire. Yeah. Yes. You can take for, for instance, there is, there may be something that someone had said some years mm. uh, many many years ago, but mm-hmm. you still can recall it yes. and you feel very bad about it. Yes. And by the way, you have to forgive those people. Yes. Yeah. Just like you know that that's amazing. We can remember some of the things that. We were told, or somebody called you. They insulted you at four years. Yeah, a very long, 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 long time, time ago. ago. But you don't remember the first time you were beaten. Yeah. You do you remember when you can't? Yeah. The, the first time you were spanked by your mom or dad. Mm-hmm. You can't. It is hard yeah. for you to remember, unless yeah. that one, that one time that it stood out, you had mm-hmm. done a serious thing and <laughs> you received some nice <laughs> yes nice yeah so uh yeah it is it is important to know that the the tongue is evil and what comes out of it mm-hmm. actually the bible says in the book of proverbs I, somewhere in the in the book of proverbs that you know um that the tongue carries the power mm-hmm. of life and yeah. death yeah yes what you confess what you speak it mm-hmm. comes to become mm-hmm. i mean it becomes you know so words have power mm-hmm. and they can set your whole body actually in verse uh, in the same verse verse 6 it sets the whole cause of his life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell mm-hmm. so yeah it is of you know you can't undermine you can't undermine the tongue yeah. be careful of what you say mm-hmm. and what you speak mm-hmm. yeah verse 7 it says all kinds of animals birds reptiles and creatures of the sea are being tamed and have been tamed by man but no man can tame the tongue mm-hmm. you see we can tame animals do you have pets like let me hear what your pet is monkeys uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you keep monkeys let me let me give you some space because i'm Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sh- 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 you keep monkeys. A, a monkey is a pet. You keep a monkey like a pet. Yes, we have a monkey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, are you are you so surprised <laughs> like me? <laughs> yes, we have. You should a bring him one day in the show so that we we can we can anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Josh has uh, as a monkey as a pet. Uh, it's better me. Some of them they have reptiles like crocodiles as no pets. way, no way, yeah, no way. <laughs> that that can easily feed on you. Yeah, but uh, why? They, but they are, but it's tamed. Yeah, That's what the Bible it's, says. It's trained, yeah. Yeah, tamed. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we have people who keep snakes like like pets. <laughs> better me. Eh? Better me. <laughs> there are people who keep um what what else cats dogs yeah me i'm there i'm there for dogs yeah i love dogs mm-hmm. but <laughs> but it is it depends some keep even leopards leopards and what else no lions I even hyenas <laughs> hyenas no i've never seen wild dogs you know there are creatures that you, can, can. there are creatures you don't have to keep <laughs> you, you don't have to keep them you know yeah. but all my point is these animals can be tamed yeah. even the most dangerous ones mm-hmm. there are people who are keeping lions yeah it's tamed you know all that but 
you know they are being tamed by a man mm-hmm. but man has not been able to tame their own tongue mm-hmm. it is so hard so it is so hard to control your tongue mm-hmm. but it is very important to have control of it and that is this is where we need even the holy spirit yeah. to help us yeah mm. Mm. and what is the percentage the size according to in in relation to our body it's oh, like of the tongue i don't think it has reached 1% It's like zero point zero something. It's very small. It's, it's very very small. Okay, the one the, the one that we used to to talk with, you know, the one that, the one that is here on the on the mouth here, uh, because I, I hear like it's it's a bit longer and we can see, <laughs> but uh, the one the one that is here it's quite small. It's quite small, so it is not even harmful when <laughs> it is it can't even fight with your teeth. Because severally, have you beaten yourself while eating? Yeah, yeah, several times. And it has never hurt your teeth. Yeah. But imagine this: that same helpless tongue mm-hmm. is able to set your whole body on fire mm-hmm. because of the words you're, you're speaking. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it is important for us, you know, even to desire that the Holy Spirit helps us to mm-hmm. tame our own tongues. Yeah. That we will not speak things that are not relevant. Mm-hmm. and that we will speak the mind of Christ rather than anything you know mm-hmm. yes only seek the guidance of the holy spirit every every day exactly yeah yes but how should we use the tongue in according uh, in verse 9 verse 9 mm. verse 9 it says we use it to give thanks to god mm-hmm. and our father also mm-hmm. it is used to curse other people mm-hmm. who are in, who are created in the likeness of god mm. cursing other people that's how we are supposed to use the tongue And the worst thing is that there are pe- there are people uh, they were made according to the likeness of God. Yeah. Does it mean that you are cursing God? No. Yes. If you do that, you are well. You are cursing the people of God. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like uh, when you body shame someone, it means mm-hmm. that you are body shaming God because the likeness of the likeness. God. Yeah. So it is very very terrible. Yeah. Always remember that your brother, your sister looks like God. Mm-hmm. So it is like degrading or uh, telling God you you didn't do an awesome job here. Yeah, it's like saying, "Hey God, you made a mistake. What yeah. is this?" What, 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 what? And this mm. is very very bad. Yeah, yeah. So it, yeah, yeah. So in verse nine it says that with the tongue we praise our our Lord and Father. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it is important. This is the main work of our tongues mm-hmm. for us to praise the Lord. to praise the Lord our Father not to curse men who have been made by God's likeness yeah yeah so if you see people who have been made or any human being just know that every human being like Jesus says has been made by the image and the likeness of God mm-hmm. no matter the shape of their bodies yeah no matter the shape of you know no matter how they dress no or they, look the shape of their heads No, you don't, you don't have to go personal to church. <laughs> yeah, no matter, no matter, no matter any form they look, you know, they just look like God. Yeah, their their height, you know, all yeah. that. Yeah. Don't don't don't, don't cast them. Don't discriminate. Yes, use your tongue to pray. Yeah. Use your tongue to sing and to give praises to yeah. God. Yes. And to encourage others mm-hmm. to read for them the Bible. Mm. Yeah. Yes, very important. Wow. So, uh, I hope you have learned something because I have learned so much mm-hmm. from today's class about our tongues. I hope we will use our tongues wisely. I mm-hmm. want to praise the Lord, to teach mm-hmm. the word of God, mm-hmm. uh, to do what again? To preach. To preach, to pray, to to sing if you can. To, to sing to for encourage, God. yes, for God. For God. Yes, and yeah. be for God. Yeah. To encourage someone You know, to advise rightly, all mm-hmm. that. Yes. Wow. So, the memory verse of this week uh, comes from the book of uh, James, chapter 3, and verse, num- verse number 9. Verse 9, yeah. The Bible says, With the tongue we praise our Lord the Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in God's likeness. I want us to recite this. because it has uh, it has two parts of it mm-hmm. one is positive mm-hmm. the other one is negative yeah. but i want us to get the positive one mm-hmm. that we can praise the lord with our own tongues okay yes. yeah james chapter 3 and verse what verse 9 verse 9 yeah so remember to do what to read 
to understand and then take a video of yourself mm -hmm. reciting that memory verse then what do they do they should send to the number right down here Where? can you see it Where? Uh, no, it is here. Don't go. No, I want to take it. Oh, it is here in front. <laughs> no, I've taken it here. No. Yeah, yeah so send it here. No, it this is, is here. the number. I have taken it. It was there, and of course, no. I will no. take it back. <laughs> no, give it back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, send it to that number, and I will showcase it to the in on the next class. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we are going to say a word of prayer, mm -hmm. and then we'll be done. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So just please pray for us. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you at this moment, at, at this hour. Lord Jesus, Lord, as we have taught, as you have taught us about uh, our chants, Lord Jesus, may you help us, dear Father, to use it for the right purpose and for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray to sing and believe in. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for your time. Back to you, Sandra. Bye. Bye. Bye.